What is up, Gorilla Nation, and welcome back to another Mendoza Vendor Reset video. As always, um, I'm not going to show as far as me uh, finding the snitch, but because I logged in earlier today, and typically where I find him at is I just fast travel to Truman Safe House right here, come out the west side of it, proceed up the street, first driveway back to the left. There's an orange crate right here in front of this building, in front of the fence. But around back is the way in order to get up to that orange crate, and that is typically where I find the snitch. Now, if you find the snitch, it reveals the location of Mendoza, and she is currently right here. All you do is go into the shop downstairs and either come up the rope in the elevator, uh, and then proceed up the ladder, and this is where Mendoza is. So let me turn on my base damage right quick for you all. And she has the cold relations. It says, you're going to have to pull this from my cold dead hands. So sounds enjoyable. Don't mind if I do. The Duchess has 11% SMG damage, 15.5% critical hit chance. Uh, magazine size is 9.5% and perfect strained. Gain 10% critical hit damage for every 0.5 seconds you are firing. Stacks up to eight times. So definitely come by and pick this up. I know I'm going to purchase one now just to have and to hold on to. Next we have a suck me off pair of gloves and it is the named variety. It is called the firm handshake. It comes with 10.5% status effects, the max you can actually get. Also it has 11.5% weapon damage, 16.8% repair skills. Next we have a hardwired backpack with plus one skill tier, 4.8% explosive resistance. And of course it has a utility mod slot. The hardwired chest piece, plus one skill tier, 10.2% critical hit damage. Next we have True Patriot Gloves, 8.4% status effects with 120-208 armor. Next we have Striker Knee Pads, 9.5% weapon damage, 6.2% skill damage. Hardwired Holster, it seems uh, here lately uh, they're really trying to get everybody to run hardwired for some reason because in every single vendor there's at least multiple pieces in which you can get your hands on. Whether they be crappy rolls or not, at least there are more multiple pieces of hardwire than any other gear set. Well, this one has plus one skill tier and 3.6% explosive resistance. Aces and eights mask, 11.3% weapon damage, 7.6% skill damage. A vector SBR 9mm. Fast hands, an M700 carbon, 533. Uh, base damage with 10% marksman rifle damage, 89% headshot damage, 5% damage to armor with the fast hands as well on it. Next we have a Heligard chest piece with 97-175 armor, 9.4% hazard protection, and of course health. Now I'm going to try to put together a hazard protection build, and this is by far the highest hazard protection I've actually come across at 9.4%. I think its max is like 10, 10 and a half. So definitely, uh, if you're looking for to you know make a build like that yourself, then uh, definitely come by just to buy this in order to have that in your recalibration library for that hazard protection. As you can see, I'm gonna purchase one now. Next, we have a Channel Light Industries knee pads plus one skill tier, 16.6% repair skills, five and a half percent headshot damage. A defensive mod with 11% protection from elites. Uh, definitely if you're running like the true patriot pieces that I have, as far as the mask, backpack, and chest piece, as you all know, you can uh, they have defensive mod slots, and you can stack up. That's 33% protection from elites, in which it definitely it comes in handy. But moving on. Finally, we have a Kim Launcher mod at 5.3% heal. Now, as I always say, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Uh, some of these pieces you'll be able to use. Some will be salty in the comment section. Oh, and say, though, there's nothing left for me there. There's nothing there. It's all, you know, complete garbage. And then you have some, well, why do you have to go over every single piece? Just show us the good stuff. Well, your interpretation of what is good is different and varies from person to person. So that is why I go over and more or less read off everything that's on it, give it my thoughts and opinions, especially if I think that it's, you know, halfway decent or good. So that is my rational of why I go over every individual piece because every individual is always looking for something different and something you might find is trash. Some person might actually be looking for either an attribute, uh, whether it be core or regular on that particular piece or just a talent that's on it. And that's why I go over every single piece. So don't be selfish. 
I'm going to go over every single piece because that helps the majority of the people out there. But thank you guys and gals so much for tuning in. We'll see you fudging later.